some new information on the stimulus package and negotiations. Also, the $2,000 stimulus check petition hit a huge milestone in 2021. All of that plus more in this video, so let's get into it right now. But if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so you can join the fastest growing advocacy group right here on YouTube, which happens to be this channel right here, as I'm here for you every single day with all the latest stuff updates as I want to do anything I possibly can to help out all of you right here in this community during this very difficult and confusing time. I know that it's very tough out there right now and I want to continue doing anything I possibly can to help everybody right here get all of the money, benefits, and anything else we can possibly get our hands on and we have some really cool things as we're stepping up our game this year in 2022 for everybody right here on the channel. So again, welcome. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below and we've got a lot of cool things coming for you this year, along with all of the daily updates. All right, thank you so much. Let's get into this right now. So we finally have a little bit more information on the stimulus package and stimulus negotiations. It's been a few days since we've gotten any new information on the stimulus package, but we have some new information that just came out today, which I want to talk about before the Senate is back in session, talking about the stimulus package once again. So it's going to start getting very busy once again, starting tomorrow. So we will be all hands on deck watching all of this very closely because at any given point they could bring this thing to the floor, pass it through and there you go. We may have a bill done. They may all of a sudden bring it to the floor and start negotiating on this thing and they start debating this thing out, adding provisions in, making amendments. There could be a lot going on here in a matter of days. So make sure to stay tuned with everything going on and don't worry, I'll watch it all very closely and I'll bring you those updates each and every day. However, now that we have more information on the stimulus package, let me know our let me tell you what these uh, new changes and what these new announcements are. So remember a couple weeks ago, Joe Manchin was out uh, in an interview and he says, my vote on the stimulus package is no, I'm not doing it. Well, shortly thereafter, about 24 hours after that interview, he was back out and said, well, you know, we can negotiate. Let's, you know, keep in contact. Everybody's going to continue negotiating in good faith. Remember, we've, we've heard this multiple times. Um, so anyway, well, that was a couple weeks ago. Over the course of the last couple weeks since the last uh, talks on this actually happened, there's still been a lot of talk about the stimulus package and behind the scenes negotiations with everything going on. So with that being said, we got some new information today. Um, actually, shortly after Joe Manchin was out a few days ago saying that, he actually presented a his proposal to the president, which came in at $1.8 trillion. However, we heard today now that Joe Manchin would be back on the table and willing to negotiate on this thing if they remove one of the major provisions within the stimulus package. Let me tell you what that is. The child tax credit payments. These are the monthly payments going out anywhere between $250 and $300 per month to those 36 to 38 million families and individuals. Now we've talked about these payments before, so you already know what they are. But one of the things that Joe Manchin wants to do is he wants to remove those from the stimulus package. And I know a lot of us are thinking, oh, seriously, how could he do that? Just hang on for a minute here because he wants to do something differently. He wants to have them removed from the stimulus package and then he wants to bring them back in its own bill, standalone bill, and actually work them through on a bipartisan basis. Now, we do know that there are a few Republicans who actually are in support of these monthly checks going out to about 36 to 38 million families. So there is actually a chance that these things could actually get passed on a bipartisan basis. But basically, Joe Manchin's standpoint on this is that this is something that should be done on a bar on a bipartisan basis rather than through reconciliation. So that's really what he wants it to be done. He wants this to be passed together, bipartisan, and he thinks that there could be a, possibly a resolution to get these things done permanently. So previously in the stimulus package right here, uh, the Build Back Better agenda, what they want to do is just extend it out for 12 months through the end of 2022. However, if they do this on a bipartisan basis, they're talking about potentially extending these out indefinitely, forever, permanent, right? So maybe we have to wait a few more months for these child tax credit payments, but at the end of the day, even if it takes six months to get done, it might not be ideal because those payments wouldn't be coming every single month. However, if it, if it gets done in six months from now and it's permanent versus through the end of this year alone, That'd be a huge win-win all across the board. It wouldn't be fun waiting for a lot of people, but at the end of the day, ultimately, if they were permanent payments, uh, that would be a pretty nice thing for a lot of people, millions and millions of families, right? So 
it's kind of like a give and take, right? You got to give a little bit of time in order to take all those payments going forward. So that's an interesting conversation that's going on right there. Now, also, many other people are coming out saying this would be the first national UBI, GBI, or basic income type program, which, by the way, UBI stands for universal basic income. GBI is guaranteed basic income. And obviously, basic income is basic income. <laughs> so many people are coming out saying this would then be the first national uh, GBI program. In other words, sending out monthly checks on an ongoing basis to a specified group of people, those people who have lower incomes, under $75,000 as an individual or $150,000 as a married couple and getting hundreds of dollars every single month. So that's the first step. And what's interesting is we've been calling on this for over a year now saying it's only a matter of time until we get a, un a universal basic income, a guaranteed basic income, or some type of basic income program on a national level. And over the summer, we got that introduction from uh, Representative Ilhan Omar to send out $1,200 every single month for low-income individuals. Remember that one? Yeah, so anyway, kind of interesting how this thing is actually taking a little bit of a turn, but it could be in a really good way for a lot, a lot of people. So, and again, for those of you who are maybe seniors or uh, elderly, people with disabilities, Social Security, SSDI, retirement, survivors, SSI, VA, hey, I totally get it. I see the comments down below from many of you reaching out saying, what about us getting monthly checks? Hey, I totally agree. They got to do something about these programs as well. If they're sending out payments to 36 to 38 million families and individuals with kids, don't get me wrong. Those people are great. If they're getting the money and they're eligible for it, take it by all means. It's there for you for the, for the taking. But at the same time, we also need to look at what about very low income and fixed income, uh, social security and fixed income beneficiaries, the whole list I mentioned a second ago. I totally get it, right? That's what we're doing right here on the channel is we're doing everything we possibly can to reach out to Congress and tell them that we do need these payments. So very interesting with that as well. Let's quickly talk about the $1,200 stimulus check petition. Remember that one? We've talked about it a number of times here on the channel, which by the way, as of right now, it's only about 3,000 signatures under 3 million. So we should be getting it there very, very soon. It's actually slowed down to a really slow crawl. Um, I thought we were going to hit 3 million like I don't know, a week, week and a half ago, and all of a sudden it slowed down to like a thousand signatures a day. So <laughs> it's really crawled here, but I'd imagine sometime this week we should be hitting that. It's only a little over 3,000 signatures away as of right now. So it's very, 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 very close to 3 million signatures. Uh, but anyway, in 2021, that petition gained over 1 million signatures, a huge milestone for that petition. That's a ton of signatures in one year. Uh, 1 million alone in 2021. So what does that tell everybody about stimulus checks? Do we as Americans need a stimulus check or is it just a signing for fun? <laughs> I don't think people are signing it for fun. I think that's the last thing that we want to be doing right now is signing a petition for fun, right? I think many people are signing it right now because probably because we need that payment going forward. Monthly payments, anything that they can do would certainly be really nice with everything going on, right? So even with that being said, I came across a survey a short time ago, and according to this survey, um, lower income individuals that were surveyed, 3.7 million people said that they are having fears of being evicted from their house or their apartment, wherever they're living right now, over the next two months. That's kind of a scary statistic. You would think maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand people would feel that way. No, 3.7 million people are feeling that way right now that they are fearing being evicted from their homes in the next two months. That's a sad situation. Nobody should have to live that way right now. However, I do want to throw this out there as well. As of about three weeks or so ago, the last time I saw the numbers on this, there was $46 billion allocated for rental assistance. As of a few weeks ago, what, three weeks ago, there was still over half of that money still available. So, so about 23 or so dollars billion. Uh, I know I said that weird, $23 billion that's still available as of now. So again, if you think that you are behind on your rent and you're fearing eviction, please check out some rental assistance. There are billions and billions of dollars available and there's money there and they want to get this money out the door. So please check out the uh, rental assistance. You can simply search your area as in maybe your state, your county, your city, your location 
and follow it by Emergency Rental Assistance Program online, and you should be, be able to find some kind of program in your area, and uh, you can apply right there. So check it out if you're somebody who's behind on your rent. Let me give you a quick update right here on this guy that we came up with, uh, what was it, last night? No, yeah, yesterday, last night was the number drawing. So um, this guy, we got three numbers and they're not even on the same line. So we got, <laughs> we got nothing. As my dad would say, we got skunked. Can you say that these days? Honestly, I don't really know. All that I know was when I was a kid, we would go fishing and we would catch nothing. And he'd be like, we got skunked. <laughs> That's all I remember when we would, when I was like a really little kid. So um, we got absolutely nothing. So here we are, the uh, the numbers for this guy. Anyway, nobody won. It's at 500, uh, what was the number? $522 million. Wow. It's going up. We're getting a raise, everybody. A much bigger raise than uh, the cola is ever going to give us in our whole life. In the history of the world, the cola will never give us that much of a raise that we're getting here. Because the um, as of last night, this was five hundred million, and now it's five twenty-two. And by the time the drawing is tomorrow, it's probably going to go up even more. So, yeah, you're never going to see that with a cola raise, <laughs> right? Twenty-two million as a cola raise, wouldn't that be sweet? Um, at that point, our currency would be worth nothing because it would just be inflated into nothing. So um, it'd be kind of cool to think about, but certainly would not be a good situation because our money would be completely worthless. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of the one of the default uh, um, downfalls of inflation. So anyway, this is what I have for you right now. Just a real quick update, a few things I wanted to talk through with you. Just a few updates that I found while doing my evening research. So I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below. It's totally free to do so. And I'm here for you every single day as part of the fastest growing community right here on YouTube as our advocates, as I am your one and only daily advocate. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Subscribe down below, share this video, and go back and check out some of the other 2000 videos right here on the channel. Enjoy. I'll catch you again later in the next video.